Um, JOK talked uh, about having that veteran, Anthony Walker, um, will practice. The Browns hopeful that he can play. Here's JOK on what Anthony Walker would mean to the defense. Oh, no, I mean, it would be a tremendous boost. Um, of course, as you guys know, he's a, a great baller, um, has a lot of tackles in his career and, you know, really has a good insight as a veteran. Um, he's, he has a lot of, you know, reports on the scouts and things like that. And uh, he was really good at watching films. So we always talk on uh, Anthony to be able to go in there and sit down, watch film with him and learn a lot from him. So. Yeah, and Hayden, don't forget, Anthony Walker was the leading tackler on that defense week one um, when he played against Chiefs and then came up with the hamstring. So, again, that we tend to forget. Newsom hasn't played a couple weeks. Walker hasn't played. So, so there were pieces that Joe Woods envisioned that haven't been on the defensive side of the ball as well. Yeah, you look at Anthony Walker, you're looking at, you look at pretty much one of your ultimate leaders on defense. I mean, obviously you have John Johnson, you have Miles Garrett, you have Jadavion Clowney, but Ma uh, uh, Anthony Walker Jr. is your man, man in the middle there. He was the one that was calling the defense. And, and as JOK said, a super heady player, a guy that has a lot of intelligence, so works hard to understand what other offenses are doing, works hard to make sure that his team understands what they need to do to combat the other offense. I think having Anthony Walker Jr. in there is only going to help the defense even more and like they said, you know, they yes, they might be without Greg Newsom again this week. They're going to be without Greg Newsom again this week. But to add a guy of, you know, Anthony Walker's experience and his um, football IQ level, it's going to be a big boost to that Browns team.